home training room babies i hope you guys are well and most importantly missing me as much as i'm missing you my name is teacher shivani and i'll be spending some one-on-one -on -one time with you today are you ready let's go as you all know in class we never begin any service without a prayer so how about we all stand to our feet put our hands together close our eyes and repeat after me lord thank you for this day Thank you that you are always with us. We ask that you bless this gathering today. That you will bless the singing of your praise, the reading of your word, and most importantly, the time that we have together. We thank you, Lord, and we ask this in Jesus' mighty name. And all of God's children said, Amen. Now that we've opened up in prayer, it's time now for some praise and worship. Who's ready to praise the Lord? I know I am. Remember guys to take part and do the actions as well. Always remember that our God is so big and so strong and so mighty. Let's begin with the praise and worship. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. In the beginning, God made everything. God simply spoke and
everything to me You are all I ever need Because you love me completely You give every heartbeat And I can't imagine my life without you Who lights up the morning and shines like the sun Who put the stars in the sky and named everyone If you did, take a second, catch your breath, and let's get ready to do the memory verse. Are you ready? Let's go. It's Timothy 1, 3, verse 15. The family of God is the church. Let's do it one more time. Timothy 1, 3, verse 15. The family of God is the church. Can you guys do it with me? I'm not going to say it, so you guys are going to say it. Are we ready? Okay, guys. So how about now we all sit down, get a place that's comfy that we can sit so that we can listen to the story. Remember guys, please listen carefully as I'll be asking you questions after. I'll see you in a few. Was an officer in the Roman army. He lived in a place called Caesarea. He and his family respected God. They weren't Jewish, they were Gentiles. <laughs> Cornelius had a vision. An angel told him, God hears your prayers and knows that you help the poor. Send men to Joppa to bring Peter here. So Cornelius did. In Joppa the next day, Peter was on the roof praying. In a vision, a huge sheet came from heaven. It was filled with animals. A voice said, Kill something, Peter. Eat. They were animals that Jews weren't allowed to eat. I can't eat them, Peter replied. If I say they're all right to eat, the voice replied, then they're all right. That's when Cornelius' messengers arrived. So Peter and some others went with them to Caesarea. 
Cornelius' house was filled with his friends and family, eager to hear Peter speak. <laughs> God showed me, in a vision, that He accepts people from every nation. God sent Jesus to everyone. He is Lord of all. He healed the sick and freed the oppressed. Oh. He was crucified and then raised from the dead. Everyone who believes in Him will be forgiven of their sins. The Holy Spirit came upon them, just like Pentecost. Peter baptized them. So the story summary goes like this. There was a man named Cornelius. He was a Gentile. And although he was a Gentile, he still respected God. One day, God showed him a vision, and he heard a voice saying, Cornelius, God hears your prayers, and God knows that you respect him. Go and find a man by the name of Peter. So before Cornelius' men could reach Peter, Peter was up on the roof praying. While he was praying, he received a vision from God. A voice said to him, Peter, go and kill something and eat. There are some animals that Jews cannot eat, and Peter remembered that. So he responded to the voice and said, But I can't. The voice then responded and said to him, If I say it's okay for you to eat, then it's okay for you to eat. Which ultimately meant that God taught Peter that Jesus was sent for everybody. When the men got to Peter, he was ready. And Peter went with the soldiers to Cornelius' house, where he saw that everybody was ready waiting for him. So Peter then shared the good news with everybody, that God had sent Jesus for everyone. And if they accept Jesus Christ, they will be forgiven for their sins. Everybody at Cornelius' house believed in Jesus Christ. And therefore, Peter baptized every single one of them. The Holy Spirit then filled all of them. And that's the end of the story, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Let's begin with our questions now. Are you ready? Let's begin, guys. Question number one. What did God send to Cornelius to speak to him? An angel. That's correct. Question number two. What did the angel say to Cornelius? He said to Cornelius that God hears his prayers and that God knows that he respects him. Question number three. Why did Peter go to Cornelius' house? Peter went to Cornelius' house to go and share with them the good news of what God has taught him. Question number four. Who baptized Cornelius and his family? Peter did. That's correct, guys. Question number five. Who welcomes everybody that believes in Jesus Christ? God does. Question number six. Who forgives everyone for their sins? Jesus does. Question number seven. Jesus for everybody? Yes, he is. Well done, kids. Question number eight. Did Cornelius obey God? Yes, he did. Question number nine. Okay, guys. Who taught Peter that Jesus is for everyone? That's correct. God did. Question number who did God send Jesus for? He sent him for everybody. That's great, guys. Well done, my babies. You guys did so, so well. I'm super proud of you. And I hope that you guys learned something new today. Remember to please remind mommy and daddy that we will be here same time next week for another teaching where one of us 
guess you spend time with you again. But for right now, guys, I love you lots. Remember to stay safe, stay home, and most importantly, that God loves you. For right now, Teacher Shivani has to go. I'll see you soon. Bye.